Hey, what's up guys? It's me Tobias here. I'm doing a Draw My Life video. You know, just in case you're someone who has wanted to stalk me but you live too far away, you know, this will really help you out. No, I'm just kidding, but in all seriousness, I'm doing this video to share a little bit of my life with you and give you a little bit of history about myself and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So, I was born here in LA my mom is from Scotland and my dad is from Switzerland. When I was about six months old, my parents and I moved to Switzerland. And then when I was three years old, we moved back to LA, but we would always go back to visit. Um, yes, that does mean my first language was Swiss German. When we moved back to LA, I started preschool and that's where I met my best friend Bruce. And he is now the drummer of Ace Bandits, believe it or not many years later. Um, at the time, apparently from what I've been told, I had a Swiss accent. Then when I was five years old, my sister Tia was born. We had a great childhood. As kids, we always had a lot of pets. We really loved animals. And when I was probably only about seven or eight years old, I tried being a vegetarian, but unfortunately it didn't last. Also when I was seven years old, I got my first skateboard, which will come into play later. When I was in fourth grade, I joined the swim team. I didn't really like it, but I was good at it, and I did it for about two years. My dad's an artist and makes a living as a graphic designer. I was brought up around a lot of creativity, which really rubbed off on me, and my parents really didn't like me watching a lot of TV. I was always involved in art in school, and I always took art classes as my electives. I took our art projects seriously and I also enjoyed creative writing. When I was in 7th grade, probably around 12 years old, I took a music class at my school. This class taught me how to play the recorder and how to read music. I give this class a lot of credit because it taught me the fundamentals of music and it sparked my interest. However, my main interest in life was skateboarding and I wanted to become a professional skateboarder. When I finished middle school, my parents sent me to a private Catholic school called Alamini. I had gone to public schools my whole life, so this was pretty different for me. It was way more strict and the other students seemed really preppy, but I tried to keep a positive outlook on it. I was pretty alone at my new school. Most of my friends went to the other two public high schools in my area, and I only knew two other people at my new school, Bruce and my other friend Michael. And as much as I didn't want to, my mom was determined to get me involved in my school. One day during the first couple of weeks at my new school, I was sitting in my homeroom and something happened that would change my life forever. Two students came into my class to try to recruit people for the school's marching and concert band. I took one of their flyers and stuffed it in my backpack and forgot about it. A week or two later, my mom was going through my bag and found the flyer. She then decided that unless I picked something else to join, she was going to make me join the high school band. So I joined the band and at first I hated it, but then it grew on me and I actually ended up liking it. I played the trumpet and I really enjoyed it. Here's my attempt at drawing a trumpet just from memory. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. Okay. Um, yeah, I had a great music teacher. His name was Marcus Mendoza. The people I met in the band were really friendly and Most of my closest friends that I have today are friends that I made through the high school band The people in the band were really music people and they really got me into like a lot of different types of music I even picked up the guitar and started playing because other people in the band knew how to play guitar and I thought it was cool then I found out that other people in the high school band had their own rock bands outside of school and I thought that was like the coolest thing ever like that it was possible to like start your own kind of rock band. That was something that I, I never gave much thought to before. I made a good friend in the band named Josh. He played in a band with his older brother. When I was about 16 or 17 we began playing music together and we tried writing a couple songs together. I gotta give Josh a lot of credit because he really showed me how to write songs and got me into writing songs. In my senior year of high school, Josh and I started a little music duo and we creatively called ourselves Tobias and Joshua. Um, 
Near the end of my senior year, my other friend Simon wanted to start a band. We recruited our friends Albert and Jason. These were the original Ace Bandits. I graduated from Alumini in 2007 and started my freshman year at Cal State University of Northridge, majoring in graphic design. In the summer of 2008, I played my first Ace Bandit show. Shortly after that, Tobias and Joshua started playing shows too, but we didn't really last that long as a band. Just as a little side note, this was also around the time I started my first job, which was working at Jamba Juice, which lasted a whopping four and a half months. Anyways, back to the band stuff. My focus was always on Ace Bandits, and to this day, Ace Bandits is my pride and joy, and I continue to work really hard on my band and I'm really happy doing it. In 2010, I started my second job at a med legal office, and in 2011, I graduated from CSUN with a BA in graphic design. I also became vegetarian at this time. This is also around the time that I started posting cover songs on YouTube. In 2013, I got into my first serious relationship, which lasted about five and a half months. Also in 2013, I decided that working in an office wasn't for me anymore, so I quit and attempted to live off the money I saved and pursue music full time, which ended up being pretty hard. This is also around the time that I started vlogging. Then in late 2014, I got into my next relationship with Jeanette, which I'm still in. This is when I learned how to speak Spanish. In 2015, we had a family emergency. It was the scariest time of my life. If you've ever been in a situation where someone is in the hospital and you don't know what's going to happen, you can relate to this. Life gets really contrasty and your life really gets put into perspective. It really gave me a kick in the butt to get serious with my life and every other problem I ever had seemed like little kid stuff. Then finally, in 2015, I, as well as many others, came across Ty Lopez's videos on YouTube. Although he is coined as one of the most hated people on the internet, I really learned a lot from watching his YouTube videos. And no, I haven't paid for his 67 step process. His videos really motivated me to work harder than I've ever worked in my life and taught me that I am responsible for my own success. So far, I've lived a pretty good life and I've learned a lot. If I were to leave you all with just one message to take away from this video, it's this. Don't be afraid to be sociable, be friendly, learn from every situation, and most of all, be genuine. So thanks for watching guys, that's the end of my Draw My Life video. If this is the first video of mine that you've ever seen, feel free to go ahead and stop by my channel and check out a couple videos. I vlog, I do music, and if you like what you see, hit subscribe. Thanks again. Peace.